many people are saying similar things like this now. You know, many times I'm meeting people, they're saying, you know, when I'm uh, chanting bhajans, when I'm meditating, when I'm in nature, when I'm giving diksha, when I'm giving, doing reiki or something like this, some kind of um, activity that is somehow supporting my, my, my being, then again I'm feeling my own spirit and I'm feeling my own presence and it's very beautiful. But then when this activity is over, and then I'm back again in my ordinary life, then somehow the old person comes back, the old regime comes back, and the old mind comes back. And how can I, how can I just keep the, the, the state that I'm finding in my spiritual activities, how can I keep it in my everyday activities? Yeah. Put your hands up. <laughs> okay, I'm not alone. No, you're not alone. Definitely not. Definitely not. Maybe this is the um, the eternal question for seekers. You know, how can I keep that state? You know, when I'm in the office in Stockholm, or when I'm, you know, on the tube or something like that, on the train or something. How can I keep it? You can't. <laughs> Thank you. You can't. You can't. People have tried and tried and tried, but you cannot. You cannot. Because the one trying to keep it, the one trying to keep it, is itself the obstacle to it. You see, when you're having these states of deep uh, uh, stillness and silence, then the one keeping it is not there. Not there. You can check. When you're simply resting inside yourself, there is not you and a state that you're keeping. There is not a peace keeper. This is why self-inquiry is the most powerful tool. It is the most powerful tool because it takes out the, the, the practitioner. It takes out the meditator. It takes out the, the individual separate identity. It takes it out by you beginning to confirm that that identity, whatever it is appearing as, there is a deeper consciousness that is perceiving that. Therefore, ultimately, where you've been hanging your identity, where you've been saying I, where you've been calling yourself me, that is not the, the, the true position. It is not the true position. This is why, again and again and again, we must look for the sense of I. We must look who or what am I. When, when I use the word I, everyone use the word I all the time. It's the most used word in the dictionary. Everyone is using it. But when we're using this word, what is it referring to? And now, I really want you to look now for this sense of I in yourself. This sense of I inside you. What is it appearing as? Please look, everybody also look. If you feel to, you don't have to, but... Uh, <laughs> It's awesome. I really want to do that. <laughs> uh, when I 
look inside. It, I don't know how I should describe it, because it is in my heart. Uh, it's there. Yeah. It's there as well. As, as, as a witness. Yes. Without, li with, without limitations. Yes. It is there all the time. Yeah. Does it have any substance? Is there something in the witness? Does it have any form? Does it? I, I can say it has no form. Yeah. But it, I can also say it has all forms. Yes. Yeah. It's some kind of inclu inclusive. I don't know how, how, how what I mean. It's beautiful what you're saying. It, it, it is everything and it is nothing. We could put it like that. You could say it is everything, it is all inclusive, yet it is nothing. And what but it is everywhere. But it is everywhere, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it, is it, different from you. Is my essence. Yeah. Is it trying to keep any state? No, 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 it, no. It, it's resting. Yeah. It's, a, it's, yeah. it's a fundamental, it's a base. Yes. This is yourself now. But who is watching it? <laughs> yes. Because someone is watching the self. And who is that? Only if it has some form now. This is why I ask you, does it have form? Because I can say, I am watching, now I am watching the window. I know the window is not me, because I'm watching it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm watching the lampshade. I know the lampshade is not me, because I'm watching it. Now I'm watching my, my mind. I know the mind is not me, because I'm watching it. Now I'm aware of internal space inside me. This space is beautiful. Ultimately, it's not me. I'm watching it. Whatever you can be aware of, ultimately cannot be you. Who must you be? They are connected to you. They are kind of an aspect, but ultimately they are not you. Who are you? I, I am that resting. You are that. Okay. But I don't understand what is it that turns around and looks at it. Yes. Leave that. that. Leave that for now. Leave that for now. If you have confirmed that you are that, that you are that, then just be one with and as that now. Leave everything else. Okay. <laughs> That's difficult. Difficult for... Is it difficult for that? <laughs> or is it difficult for something else that is trying to be that? For oh, my intellectual mind. <laughs> <laughs> Analytical mind, yeah. It doesn't give up. It doesn't give up because still you have some interest in it. Mm. 
you still have some interest there, then it can just still play a bit. But if you have no interest in something, you don't need to overcome it anymore. Ultimately, can we die to our own simplicity? Can we die to our own simplicity? Mind is always going to have something to say. More questions. Get out clauses. Like the guy who was coming back to re recognize the self that never happened. Mind is always buying more time. Just, just let me just, you know, coming back, just not yet. What is it that is before time? What is it inside you that is timeless? Knows nothing of time. When we recognize that, when we come to recognize that to be ourself, then we are no longer trying to keep any states. Because just naturally, out of that recognition is coming the natural state. Natural state. What is natural state? Sahaja, natural state. It's the underlying state. As you have called it the ground, it is like the ground. A groundless ground, to be precise. A groundless ground of pure being. Is that saying, I'm, I, I had it here and then I lost it there? We can only lose something if we are trying to keep something. But when you know you are that thing, no thing, then what will you keep? It's like saying, I'm trying hard all day to be a man. You're a man. I'm trying. How can I keep that? I say, but you are that. Or a woman. The master, he said, let what comes, come. Let what goes, go. Find out what remains. Let what comes, come. Let what goes, go. Find out what remains. You have come here to look for that. You have come here because just to be a visitor is no longer enough for you. Just to be a visitor, God's visitor, is not enough. When Papaji first met Ramana, Papaji, he used to like to find the saints and ask them the question, have you seen God? This was his question. He would hunt that, he would travel around India, find a sage and ask them, have you seen God? That was his question to sages. And a lot of them would say, oh yeah, you know, I saw him and he looked like this and all this kind of thing. Then he heard about Ramana. There's a man in South India. You must go and visit him. And Papaji went there. He waited his turn and he asked him, Master, have you seen God? 
Ramana looked at him, saying, you cannot see God. God is not an object. God is the subject. And Papaji said, but every night, Rama and Krishna, they come and they dance at the end of my bed. And every night, I'm, I am one with the gods. I love them. They come every night. And Ramana said, are they here now? Papaji said, no, they're not here now. They only come at night. And Ramana said, what good is a god that is not here now? And just in hearing this, Papaji's mind stopped. Something stopped. What a shift. What a shift when we begin to recognize that what we're seeking is already here. It's already here. But the only thing that stands in its way is us identifying with the I thought. If we pick up the I thought, then we also pick up trying to keep things and, and every, we pick up everything with it. The I thought seems so innocent. It just <laughs> walks in innocently and says, you know, can you join with me? And the minute we join with it, it opens the door and thousands of things come with it. <laughs> but if you don't pick up the I thought, if you just remain empty, then are you seeking any states? Are you not complete right there? If you pick up the I thought, you're going to need to do so much balancing. You're going to need to do so many things. But if you don't pick up I, as simply as you are, as simply as you are,